Hey guys, it's DC here and today I want to talk to you about CTFs. <laughs> So recently a lot of people have been asking me about what the best basic CTFs are to get started with and um, I just wanted to go over a few examples and why I believe that they are the best ones to get started with. So let's jump on the computer and have a look. Okay so with these CTFs we're talking about beginner level right so I want to go over a few things first before we get started on which ones I believe are the best to get started with. Now with CTFs, when you get to the more intermediate to advanced levels, you need to start knowing things like Linux, some basic cryptography and some networking skills. So it's pretty much the same when you're in a job as well, which is why I've put up this list of CTFs to get started with so that you can either be more advanced at work or to potentially just be an absolute gun at doing CTFs. So the first one is Linux based. Obviously it's uh, the over the wire bandit war game. Now, as you can see, it's aimed at absolute beginners. It teaches you the basics of Linux CTFs and basic Linux commands. There's all these levels here on the left, as you can see, all the way from zero to 34. And it ranges from like really basic stuff to, you know, getting more advanced as you go up. So it goes through Telnet, SSH, cron jobs, committing to Git repos, and yeah, all sorts of good stuff on here. The next Linux based one that I would get started with is on tryhackme.com and it's called Learn Linux, which is a bit of a giveaway. Now, as we can see here with this Learn Linux one, it gives you an intro into what you're doing, a methodology, and then it's separated out each and every single bit. So Linux operators, different operators, the end and some binary stuff in here, chmod, chown, rm, mv, cp, ln, uh, I think there's like ls stuff at the top here as well, yeah, ls, all the good Linux stuff that you need to know. Now this one again is pretty extensive, there's uh, a flag on pretty much every challenge and um, yeah, it goes into some really in-depth uh, explanation on how to use Linux. It also gives you an overview of some stuff around uh, like systems administration via Linux, which is uh, super useful if you're looking at getting into a uh, Linux sysadmin type role. The next one is also on Try Hack Me. It's called CTF Collection Volume 1. And um, this one is an absolutely huge room. It's going to take forever to get through, but it's it's absolutely awesome. There's so many different cryptography uh, methods of decryption on here that are, are really great to go through. There's um, there's even one here that I, I didn't actually finish on this room, which is interesting. But yeah, there's lots of really good stuff in here. It's got uh, steganography, QR codes, uh, bin walk type stuff, reversing, uh, just basic dehashing through uh, Hashcat. It's It's got everything. It's a really good room to have a look at. So I would definitely recommend uh, this room. It's called uh, CTF Collection Volume 1. Okay, now moving on to networking. Um, I have There's this one here called the Wireshark CTFs and it's actually a collection of two different uh, CTFs uh, that have been put together and I know the difficulty says medium over here but I don't believe it actually is. It's just basic packet inspection stuff. Um, I won't click on it because it'll give away the answer but what you need to do is to download a PCAP file which you can open with Wireshark and then you inspect the traffic on there and it gives you some examples of what you should be uh, looking for. So similar to this one it's the same sort of challenge you just need to download a PCAP file and you can then go through and figure out step by step, follow the breadcrumbs and eventually get the flag at the end. Now, last on the list of CTFs that I think are really great for beginners is again this one on Try Hack Me, it's called OSINT. Now, the reason I've chosen this one is because OSINT is such a important part of, I guess, hacking and basic recon, right? So. You want to be able to inspect different points of information and to do that OSINT is a very useful uh, tool or procedure I guess to get that information. The way you go about it is you go through this challenge and it gives you a file and then you have to 
uh, follow the breadcrumbs around the world to find where this person is, what their address is, who their name is, all that sort of information. So basically just building uh, a report about someone from freely available information, which is pretty cool. While you're doing it, you're definitely going to feel like a bit of a hacker. And um, yeah, it's it's just a super fun one to, to do, which is why I've thrown it in here because CTFs are all about fun and learning. So uh, yeah, this one definitely had to make the list. Anyway, yeah, that's my list of uh, CTFs that I think are really good for beginners who are just getting started in cybersecurity. If you uh, think I missed some CTFs that should have been on this video, like maybe some of the ones from uh, Hack the Box, or uh, Picto CTF or one of those other uh, CTF websites, maybe CryptoHack even. Uh, let me know in the comments below and uh, so other people who are also looking for uh, basic CTFs to get started with can browse through the comments and see those examples. As always, if you like this video, please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next video guys. Catch you later.